What's going on, monkey dudes and monkey cats? Hellboard Gaming here. What's going on, monkey dudes and monkey cats? Hellboard Gaming here. What's going on, monkey dudes and monkey cats? Hellboard Gaming here. Back at it again with some OTB craft. Now, I'm not going to be able to record this whole video in one day like I would usually do with most of my videos, but I am recording a few snippets right now. So, just to let, update you guys with what I'm doing, my next plan for this episode is I need to breed these sheeps up. Now, I'm not going to do that on cam. I'm going to do that a lot off cam. I need 12 more sheeps. 12 more sheepy sheeps. I have four here. And I need 12 more because I have set out this platform to place four, three more of these one, uh, four sheep farms on. I'm going to use rail cart system, hopefully, to get them in there. I'm not 100% sure. He eats a lot of grass. I didn't realize baby sheep eat a lot of grass like that. Luckily, it can still grow in, but dang. That's a lot of grass. But uh, I plan on coloring them each a different color wool for the wool shop. I, do want, I did want to expand it to all the colors of wool. Having said that, Right now, I am going to make a little amendment to how this runs. So, let's get up here. This is the observer. Destroy. Observer. Let's turn off all the observers. Because I am going to change the way my minecart system works. Uh, okay. <clears throat> this, this can stay. Let's destroy you. Is that seriously a... F oh, <laughs> that startled me. Just do that, that, and that. That gives me all my stuff back. Yeah, it does. Okay, cool. Um, so what I want to do is I want to make multiple hopper carts. One below each. So what I need to do is destroy this, destroy all of these, and turn off the rails system because it no, it's no longer necessary. All together, turn it all off. Now, I am going to need multiple hoppers, but the goal is, um, there should be one here, so here, um, right. The annoying thing is going to be collecting the loots from down here, but I guess what I can do is this, whoops, let's get my dirt at the ready, dirt and grass, dirt, and then go around the other side, over here, because there's no need to, wait, is there... Actually, you know what? That hopper needs to go. Hopper and chest both need to go. And, and there. Got you. Okay, got it all. Now this hopper has to go. That's a sad thing because of how this is going to work. Okay, so all these are going to grow up. Now having said that, what I need to do is... Double shovel. Um... Wait, right below. Okay, so this should be one block. Okay, so this right here should be the block below him, right? This right here. The you know what? These these are unnecessary holes. They kind of look tacky anyway. So right here, I need a rail. One. Oh, you know what? I need a hopper there too. So. I'm going to grab my stuff and show you guys what I'm talking about. Now, basically, the gist of this is that right here will be a double chest. Two double chest right here. Then attached to this double chest will be a hopper like this. I did. I, I brought some iron with me. Did I bring enough for the carts? I hope so. I probably did. Then on top of this chest will be a rail or. A, doesn't matter which direction really and then a minecart with hopper like this and now each one will sit like that having said that i am going to still put a trap door in front of this one specifically like this not like that no no not like that have my trap door back please okay like this yeah like that like that, so I can still open the chest. Now I'm going to do that all the way across each time, so board you up. And then dig these out temporarily, because I'm going to need the space. 
Now, there's one. Okay, actually, this right here is fine with dirt. Fill it up. Fill it up. I uh, don't no, have any dirt, so it's okay. Okay, so that right there is fine with this. So it's there, this, here. Okay. And then here would be do do. Well, let's let's not just jump the gun just yet. Let's go ahead and place the chests. That's like this. Then I'd skip one and there would be a chest here. Ah, that's not how I wanted to do that. Uh, I don't know why my bed is just sitting here in my hotbar. My hotbar is a mess right now. Not open you like this. Okay. I can put the signs back up or the item frames back up, but um that so that's a one down. This okay. <clears throat> I need to craft some more hopper cart things. Hopper carts. Yeah, hopper carts, that's a good name for them. Um, I need three more. One, one, two, three, this, there. And then I can put the hoppers in them. One, two, and three. There. So then, simply put, just place the hoppers, this one, and two, two, but then the only issue here is um, one, two, I, I still have to move this stuff over, and that's the real pain. Two. All right, so there, now they're on the tracks, and I can put this here, 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 and then... Um, I just need to move all of the wool from one to another. But let's go ahead and place this up. One, two, three, four. Just place all this in here and pull these out one at a time. One, two, and three. Basically, I'm going to have it look like that. Now, I have to move this over, but the issue is I have to pull out all of this wool. So... Let's just pull out all the wool because most of these are ones anyway. So I can I no I, I can't space withdraw unfortunately. That's a modded feature. So to be fair, this is yellow. Let's put all the yellow in here. Boop. And then I can actually fill the chests up now like this so that nothing else could possibly ever ever want to go in it. Now, I do hate when it overstacks like that. But, yeah, and I can do that with each one now. So, let's finish this build up. Let's go ahead and put all of these in here for now. And then I will work on the other stuff soon, momentarily. Or, or to you guys, it'll be a while for me. But, uh, hopper. So this, this is also kind of a tutorial if you guys ever want to do your own thing. Uh, oops, I forgot the uh, rail. I'm pretty sure, I'm 99.999% sure this is going to work. Because if not, then I'll have wasted this time for nothing. And then I will be very, very sad puppy. Very sad puppy. Um, now let's go ahead and place these trap doors back. Just so I can access them in case of emergency. And to make this um, consistent, do that. All right, so that's consistent now. Go ahead and put the redstone back. <clears throat> redstone, 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 redstone. Um, oh, there we go. There we go. I just sheared them all. And now there's it's getting purple in here. It's working. Good. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and uh, sort this out, and I will see you guys in a bit. Well guys, I almost have it. I have eight sheeps in here. Once I, once these two grow up and I can mate those, I'll have 12 sheeps. 12 sheepses. And I have four here. 
So 12 plus 4 is 16. I have the dies as well. I collected them off cam. That was kind of a pain. Um, just a little bit. That wasn't as hard as expected, but I had to go to the base a few times because I kept forgetting to grab cocoa beans for brown dye. But it's okay. I have most of this stuff done. I, I still need to build, but I will be doing that later. I'm going to have to build these setups. Um, once I have them built, I'm just going to run mine carts to drop them in each time. And so this should be, this is working. This is actually picking up the... Oh, okay, so... Hopper. There we go. You just, just do like that. Fits perfectly now. I don't have it going back and forth. Oh, I got to see it in action. <laughs> awesome. But now those are constantly there, so I don't have to worry about them delaying the pickup. But basically, I need to build this three more times. Exactly the same way. And then I can drop them from the top in. From up here, just drop them in with the mine cart. Just have it uh, push them to the top and then just push them in. As long as I... Well, actually, it wouldn't matter. If I fall in, I, I can close it off after I push them in. Because they won't get out until I destroy the mine cart. So I'll have to put a rail in there on top of the grass. But that won't be too much of a pain. I like the idea. Um, I've set up my shop to look a little differently. It actually has uh, 16 chests now, each to store wool. They're not double chests, though I might end up stacking them taller, who knows? I haven't decided. I probably won't. I'll probably just do one chest at a time full. And then when these are full and when that stock runs out, I'll refill it and just do single chests instead of double chests, because it is 16 colored wool. 16 different colors of wool. So, I think that would be pretty cool. Today, another recording. So, it's been a couple days since the last clip. Like I said, I was going to record this over a couple days. Um, Let me kill these two. I want to show a change that you guys may have noticed. I have upped the GUI scale by one. Now, I did this for you guys. Because I noticed, after looking at some footage, I just recently noticed that the the GUI scale was a little small when I watched it on my TV. I went through and checked it on my TV. I didn't realize... I'm new to the 1440p recordings, okay? I noticed that on RuneScape as well. And I was like, oh god, I'm glad I only did this for one video, though I've done this for a few videos. But the GUI scale is now set up one larger, so it should be more visible to you guys. It was originally on two, so that would be this. And I know uh, on some screens this the at the bottom may be a little too small for you guys to see in the text and stuff, so I will jump it up to three. And honestly, it's not that bad looking. It's still plenty of screen real estate for me. It's comfortable Whoop, for me. And I don't mind it at all. And so I apologize for the last few videos where it was on two and it was kind of small. But it's okay. I fixed that. Also, we have 12 sheep. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? I need to get some resources. And I need to figure out how I'm going to do this. Oh, I'm going to have to... Okay, so lead one sheep out into... Okay, so... Like, what I need to do is put fences around this and put a fence gate here. And then lead the sheep. Oh, oh that's it. No, put the fence gate here. Lead, like, right here, have a railroad track that comes around like this and up. I'm going to start from the back because the back's going to be more annoying. But I'm going to go ahead and collect the materials. I need four dispensers. One, three, four dispensers. I need four observers. So technically, I need one per sheep. So I need 12 dispensers, 12 observers, 12. Uh, 24 hoppers, um, because I need the mine carts. And all of those seem to stack, I mean, other than the mine carts, so I should be fine. And I'm going to need 12 mine carts, which mathematically would be 12 times 5 is 60, so a stack of iron. And I have a plethora of iron. I bought more iron because uh, I needed to make an anvil because I used someone's anvil and it chipped. And I didn't think about it. I could have made my own. So I felt kind of bad, so I replaced their anvil. And uh, took the chipped anvil in place of it. Um, figured they shouldn't mind. I did tell him about it. 
and tell them about it. So there, I have an extra anvil in here. So mine's damaged when it breaks, the chipped one will fall. So it's all good, it's all good. But I have 64 blocks in here. And if I go over to here, where my access is, I have, this is my access, isn't it? Oh, these are the blocks of iron. I just looked weird for me. I have another 64 and 13, so I have plenty. Also, I already have two hoppers of 24. I just need 22. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and make the materials I need, and I, oh god, hold on. Ha <laughs> Take that, I was so worried about the nether quartz. Anyway, I will be back momentarily, there as the, as the plan. Um, and this is what I got so far, I have an obser 12 observers, 12 dispensers, I got the fences and the fence gates and the stone, and I've got the rail carts, so I should have plenty. Um, I wonder how many I had. Though I didn't actually look. I have 18. 64 should be plenty though, but I don't want to take up the extra space. I have a stack. Hopefully that's plenty. Right now I'm smelting up some glass. Um, 16 glass, so I've got it in the auto smelter. Or 64 glass, four sets of 16. And basically what I want to do is try to mirror that. Oh, hold up. I'm using spruce logs. I'm going to need cobblestone slabs, cobblestone, and brick. So I just want I want to mimic this. What I'd like to do now is actually disable this for now. Just completely disable it so that it's no longer sending the pulse and they can all grow up to be colorful. I want a block around on each side. So that's why I've built this platform the way I have going out this way. So I can have a block on each side. To walk around so like this would be free block this would be free block maybe two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven one two three four, five six seven yeah okay also look at that look at that shade change that's so cool it's like oh it's very green over here and then it's like oh it's turning color it's turning color do you see the shading difference I think that's what that one setting is about biome blend. If I turn that off, it'd look blocky instead of like shade transforming. Having said that, I grew, uh, I did breed the sheep one more time, um, or at least two of them. So there should be 14 here now, so I can keep two in the pen just in case. Um, so yeah, there's that. Um, maybe I should do it over this way. I should do it over this way instead, give it a little bit of room. So basically what I'd like to do is something like this. Um, let me, over here, I probably should have brought a piece of carpet with me. Then destroy this and place this here. So I can lead them out as needed. If I lead one out into it, uh, I can put the rail system right here. So something like, I mean, I don't have to use powered rails, but there, there, there's something more comforting about using powered rails. So like this, oh, you know what? Let's turn this, turn. And then right here I can put like a powered rail. Um, then a little bit back, this. And I just give it a little extra, a little extra, so like, Make them more than that. Put a torch here. Um, oh, maybe put the torch here, just in case. I don't want it to interfere with anything over here. Basically, I'm going to run it all the way back here using rails and powered rails. So, like that. One, two, three. Torch. One, two, three. Um, torch, you're on the way, buddy. <laughs> you can go here instead. Dude, <laughs> torch, maybe put this torch here instead. Then put this torch here, and then something like this, and it'll be around here anyway, where it goes up and drops them in. So yeah, there's that. Food. <laughs> 
So yeah, basically just set it up like this, put a cart here, drag him into the cart, close it, push the cart along, hopefully it'll jet out that way mostly. If I need to make one more set of powered rails, I will, but I'm trying to conserve them as much as possible. So I just need to mirror this appearance over there. I need to put the torches. I need to remember the torches, so. One, uh, four per, so that's 12 torches. I have plenty. Anyway, I'm going to build this off cam because it's going to be a hefty build. You guys see how I set this up. I'm going to have to get the block materials needed to build it. But you guys see how I have it set up. I'm going to build it layer by layer. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys momentarily. Amendments to the original design. Uh, just, just to make it look a little better. I've changed this from cobblestone to stone bricks. Um, I removed... I've had two blocks there, but I think that may have been just to climb up there. And I had a block here for some reason. So basically this is now shown. But I've got this built so far for the first one. I went ahead and placed the these for those. So this should be this should be the start of it. Uh, basically it's uh this, 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 and then this goes like that. Why? Why does this go like that? It's not there. Why do I... Oh, because of the way I have the dispenser, so it might as well go like that anyway. And then this just goes straight up. And then the trap doors go like this on each one. And then the grass goes like this with each one. Oops. Grab this one back. And uh, yeah, that's basically the start. I put my bed down right here because uh, <laughs> just sleep easier. And I just need to do this with each one and build this up. That's the goal. That's the goal. Having an issue, guys. Uh, it was hard to get the sheep in, but I found a solution around it. I need to put trap doors in place of it. I, it was freaking crazy. I got him up there and he he didn't go in the hole like it was he was a magician so what i need to do is go through and replace all of the glass here with trap doors i mean i don't know if that's going to work for all of them i don't know if they can walk through trap doors i don't think they can but by doing that it makes things so easy oh crap. it makes things so easy you just open the trap door like this and then they'll think it's a block, like you would with a mob trap farm. <laughs> but my gosh, I think these are all built up to spec. I'm going to need to get on top of this one, because I want to do that with all of them. And I'm just using the trap doors I had placed down there where I was going to place the things. Um, food, 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 food. There's my food, okay. Um, because I can just take them down and replace them. Because I replaced the... Uh, you just gotta... I'm just gonna offhand the uh, glass... I'll keep them all consistent. <laughs> I'm just going to offhand the glass. Because I think if, if I offhand the glass, it'll be fast. You know, destroy this with the the axe, and then offhand the glass. Uh, uh, place it immediately, because it's offhanded. And so the sheep should not be able to get out. I hope. <laughs> we shall see. We shall see. All right, to the next one. Can I, can I, can I parkour jump this? Hey, I did it. I parkoured it. Anyway, let's let's finish up this. Well, I have finished. Uh, only thing I have to do is dye the sheep and put in the shears. But other than that, and finish putting in the redstone uh, dust. But other than that, this project is finished. I mean, there needs to be a light, lighting added all over the place for sure. I'm pretty certain that lighting is important. Um. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Put some light here. Up up here. See if there's lighting up here, up here, up here. Yes. Okay. So all of that's got lighting. This doesn't have lighting right here, though. Here, up here, up here. I've got light on the inside, so... Here. The lighting is complete. I just have to dye the sheeps. And ignore this raw mutton in my inventory. A sheep did totally not die in the process of moving all the sheeps. That was irritating. But it was only one sheep. 
and it was because he suffocated in a wall, stupidly. But I found a solution. Moving the sheep was really a hassle. I, I had not realized how much of a pain manipulating mobs is. Oh my gosh. But yeah, let's go get all the dyes. Let's, let's go put all my stuff up, and then we'll get all the dyes. But dang, that was that was a hassle. I've decided to leave the. I don't know if I mentioned this, but I decided to leave the uh, trap doors there. That way I can get to the sheep easily. They can't get out from the looks of it. Also, I did, if you see the atom and effect in the top right corner, I did kill some pillagers because they were in the way. They were bothering me, so I decided to say, you know what? You're in my way. Move. And I made the move. And I uh, killed them. <laughs> Evil. But it had to be done. Sorry, I, I know I go in chests multiple times. I've realized that, but I'm not good at keeping track of like literally everything I'm trying to do. So it's like, wait, what are you? Why is a oh, it's decorative and lighting. Yeah, duh. Stupid smelly brain. <laughs> go ahead and put these up. I somehow lost some rails. I think I placed down twelve, sixty-four to fifty-two. Never mind. I miscalculated somehow. I'm right. I mean, I'm wrong. Sort of. Building blocks. Go ahead and put this up. Crafting material. This. It's just, this is the only way to get my brain to be like, ah, okay, this is how it should be done. This and this are fine. The grass can be put up now. Didn't need as much of it as I thought. I do need the iron and I do need the redstone. So iron and redstone are a definite thing. So one, two, three, four, five. I'll put this piece of mutton in here. I'm going to cook this raw beef. Because I'm going to need it. Um, I'm running low on steak. Let's go ahead and grab eight of it to put over here. Double up on the cooking. Uh, go to sleep. Go to sleep. Uh, go to sleep in my bed now, though. If I can set my spawn point to the proper location. So this and go to sleep in my bed <laughs> oh ah son of a potato <sighs> you guys can see chat yeah i'm talking and uh talking to some of the people on the server ah that it's gonna bug me I'd, I'd rather a piece be taken out of my house. I'm just going <laughs> to... As annoying as it is, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to destroy this uh, piece of oak. Right here. And I'm going to place... No, that's not what I wanted to do. I'm going to place it right there. There. That's funny. Oh, I got an alarm that's gonna go off. Hold on, can I dismiss this alarm? Yes. Okay. It's gonna go off in like 15 minutes. I don't want it to go off. <laughs> Cause I'm busy. Okay. Now I've placed up some stuff. I've slept in my bed in my house. I've got this log. Let's put this log back here. There we go. Hopefully that never happens again. We grab the dies. I put the dies in here, just so I could have them somewhere. I'll dye them as I see I want to dye them. I'm not super picky on how I dye them. I'm just going to dye them. I don't have a specific order because that's blue. I mean, that's purple. Blue? What? You know what? How about this? Blue. Okay, I'm going to put all this up. So, blue, light blue, red, pink. There. I'll give it some difference. And can I do it like this? Can I see the sheep? If I jump, can I see the sheep? No. Aww. Wait, can I see the sheep from... Seriously, it's, it's just far enough away. Fine, let's use this stone here. I'll just use this stone and this pickaxe to do this, so... Oh, wait a minute, what am I doing? I can jump up like this. Sheep, okay. So this is the second one, right? This is the first one, so this is the second one. Blue. Light blue. Um, instead of, no, instead of red and pink, uh, green, cyan, cyan green. 
Cyan. I, I'm sure that's how it's pronounced. Great. Ta-da. So those are colored. And then... Um, uh, orange? Oh, no, no, no. Uh, orange, red, magenta, pink. Orange, red, magenta, pink. Orange, red, magenta. It's like it's transforming into pink. Transforming into yellow, into pink. And then uh, brown, gray, light gray, black. Because I don't really. I'm just gonna do it like this specifically. Okay. Light gray and black. Now I'm gonna go through, and I need the redstone and the shears. Redstone and shears. So I'm gonna need to make a ton of shears. <laughs> a ton of shears. Yeah, that it's gonna be fun. That's that's gonna be the most annoying part. I will. To be truthful, I don't. I can actually do all of this from my inventory. So. I can do all of it from my inventory. So let's go back here, start from the back. And then in the dispenser, from my inventory, let's take out all that. Boom. Take this, uh, put all of them in here like this. Put all of these in here like this. All of these in here like this, I'm still some short. I'm actually going to need more iron, but that's fine. Up here. And, okay. So I'm gonna need more iron. Let's go grab more iron. So let's see. Let's see. Oh, whoops, I forgot to, I knew something was missing. I forgot to destroy this cobblestone and this cobblestone. I, I was using it to direct the, the traffic. Let me check all of these, because I felt like some cobblestone was missing. That may have been all the cobblestone that was missing. Okay, all right, we're good, we're good, we're good. We are good. Should be everything. All right. Now I just need to go back over here and get more iron. This is gonna need quite a bit of iron. I'm just gonna grab, I'm just gonna grab an entire stack. I'm gonna grab all my excess iron. Oh, let's go over here to my, Redstone stuffs. Let's grab this and this. There, now I definitely have enough. I definitely have enough. In no way that's not going to be enough. Now let's go back here and find out where I left off. I think it was the second one over, but we'll see. Wait. All right. Is it, okay, so let's see. I got... That's dispenser. That's not the dispenser I mean. That one? Okay. That off. This dispenser's empty, so this is where I left off. So, this should be enough for in here, right? Yeah. And then let's take 11 this time, make it into iron, take these 36 and make them into shears. Do that. I don't want to overkill the shears but if I can afford not to. And then I come over here and go ahead and again that's the observer. Sometimes I swear. Sometimes I can be a dumb. And then go ahead and make the rest of these into shears. Although I think I just overkilled it. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I didn't overkill at all. I need three more pairs of shears. That should be enough right there. One, two, three, one, two, three. Boom. That should be all of my shears I need. Right? So they should all be full of shears now. And we'll check just this one here. Yeah, they, they should be full. So now let's put the redstone together. Boop, boop, boop. I basically put most of it in. Uh, some of this doesn't have it because of the way I did it after that. So I don't remember which ones. Oh, I guess I did place it back. Maybe I just missed one. And then I did disconnect these so they wouldn't go off while I was recording. Or while I was building. So now this should all proc and shear the sheep. 
constantly. Well, not constantly, but basically. Oh, the cool thing is now I can just be like, Whoop. and the server restart. Perfect timing. Oh, wait, what? Whoa, whoa, what? Friendly creatures is off. What the heck was that noise? Oh, wait, is that the warning? They put a sound warning to say, hey, the server's restarting in 10 minutes. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and, oh, yeah, I need to make the item frames and then put a die in. What is that caught on? Okay, yeah, I need a solid block. I need a solid block after all. I'll replace all that with glass now. Anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe for future content. So thanks everybody for watching and hit the notification bell for notifications of future content. I will see you guys in the next episode. So peace out, everybody. Thanks again for watching. I will see you guys later.